hello viewers and welcome to my channel once again it's leonard here from digitallearner.com and in today's video tutorial i'm going to walk you through on how to create an auto blogging site that will generate income for you a money making auto blogging news website as you can see here on my screen this is exactly what i'm going to walk you how to do and you can embed uh, adsense or you can create a space like this for google and um, for sponsor ad or you actually use your ad, your Google AdSense account to actually embed ad. As you can see, this is an ad. If I scroll down here, you see here, this is an ad. Um, this is an ad. This is an ad. So I'm going to show you how to actually build um, something like this. The news are automatically going to be published on your site. So you can publish news from different sites on your site and then start driving traffic to it and start making money. Now, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with others on social media so if there is anything you are stuck with always use the comment section in the video and i will definitely attend to them as soon as i get those comments so please give it a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to be the first to be notified each time i publish new article so the blog we are going to create um, is an auto news blogging site so i'm going to show you how to add up this here as you can see here the latest news that are showing up here um, you have to add up this social media, how to embed your Google AdSense code into the site here. As you can see at the header here, we have um, this ad. We have this ad here, we have this ad here at the sidebar, we have the ad on top here. So if I scroll down, you, you see the ad everywhere here. Um, if I scroll to the footer here, you see an ad here, and this is an ad as well. So this could probably be a banner for you to display here um, for sponsor, maybe for businesses. You can actually reach out to businesses and they can display their banner there why they pay you. So I'm going to show you how to actually create this from A to Z. You don't need to bother about content. All you just need to bother yourself with is how to drive traffic to the site and then start earning income using the site. It is automatically going to be generated for you and the news will be published um, on an hourly basis or on a daily basis depending on the settings you are going to do and here i will equally want to let you know that our site is very responsive as you can see here this is the mobile view of it so if i scroll down here you can see the site is very responsive so anybody can access it from a mobile phone from any device that they are using uh, they can actually access um, your site and read this news so if you want to actually convert this to a, a, an app you can easily do that and you know people can start downloading your ad and start following all of these daily news so without further ado let's jump right into it let me show you how to create this awesome auto blogging news website so now in order to get our auto news blogging site hosted and live on, on the internet there are two basic things that we need we need a domain name the domain name is the name of your website that of domain name of google is google.com that of facebook is facebook.com so the name of your auto news blogging site is going to be the name you've chosen for yourself com or dot net or dot org depending on the extension you want to go with but normally i recommend to stay within the confines of the dot com uh, extension so your auto blogging news your auto blogging site is going to be the name you've chosen for yourself dot com that is going to be your domain name in this case with the hosting i'm going to show you the hosting providers i'm going to show you to use you are going to get the domain name for free and then the hosting is a space where all your website files are stored so for anybody in the world to access it, for anybody around the world, wherever they are, to us, be able to access it, for it to be visible, you need a hosting. So that is where your website files are going to be stored. So in order to get a hosting, I recommend uh, Bluehost. Bluehost um, is the hosting that I presently use and equally use um, TMD hosting. So I use these two hosting platform. You can go ahead and check them out. Um, there are links in the video description below where you can go ahead and check out these two platforms and any of these you use but bluehost is a little bit far cheaper i actually use them and bluehost is officially recommended by wordpress so you can go ahead and use bluehost and start hosting your site so all i'm going to do now is to walk you through with bluehost or tmd hosting you're actually going to get your domain name for free whether you're using bluehost or you're using tmd hosting you are going to get a domain name for free so all you need to do now is just click on, on Bluehost, you click on this get started. So the demonstration I'm showing here is with one, one of these hosting platform, you can, it's the same thing that, uh, that applies to TMD hosting. So once you are here, as I said earlier, there are links uh, to this, uh, to Bluehost and TMD hosting in the video description below. So you can go ahead and check that, check, check them out. So just select any package here. Now with the first basic plan here, you, you have only one website hosted, but with the plus plan or the choice plus, you have unlimited website what that simply means is that 
um, today we are create, creating an auto news blogging site if tomorrow we decide to create um, an e-commerce website we don't need to buy a new hosting we just pay for the domain name and use the same hosting to actually host that site so that is basically what this unlimited site um, actually means and you get all of this free um, stuff here that are listed here you're getting a lot of things for free so you just go ahead I use a choice plus plan you can go ahead and choose anyone that best suits you so just go ahead for the purpose of this demonstration I will go with the plus plan um, just select the plan you want and this is where we are going to add our blog the domain name we are going to get for free so whatever domain name you've chosen for yourself this is where you are going to add that so let me quickly do that so I'll go ahead and add news blogging here. Now the thing is, I, if I click next here, if this domain name is actually available, the, uh, Bluehost will let us know that it's available. But if the domain name is not available, as you can see, a news blogging is not available. Uh, that means it has been taken by someone else. So what we are going to do next is to actually um, um, add up something here. Let me remove one of this G and see if this. Now, what I did because news blogging with the double G is not available, I went ahead and removed um, one of the G. So, news blogging now with one G is actually available. So, the same thing you are going to do if your domain name, the domain name you've chosen for yourself, is not available, you can add or remove something to actually make sure that that domain name is uh, available. So, once you have this um, green button here that your domain name is available, the next thing we need to do now is to actually sign up with Google with our Google account, or you just fill in the information that approved that uh, Bluehost needed from you here uh, your account information you are going to add your name your business name your country your address and then most importantly you are going to add your email address here because this is where um, the details to log into your cPanel account will be forwarded to so put an active email address here to actually get this information in your email inbox so at the end of the day on the account package here Bluehost give you the option of hosting your site for the next 36 months which is three years so you can host this um, site for the next three years you don't need to bother yourself um, paying for hosting you can go ahead and do that you can select for two years you can go ahead with the 12 month which is one year so any of these that best suits you go ahead and select them and select for the package plan then here um, you can uncheck all this you can always do this but for now you don't need it so that the workload of the payment will not be too much for you um, you go ahead and uncheck all of these things and you can see you're getting in most cases it ranges from 38 to about 63 percent off so you're getting this for um, the total of 95 dollar 40 cent so they wants you to uncheck all of these things this is the total amount you are going to pay and then the next thing here is to add your payment information you are going to input in your credit card you can pay with your visa with your mastercard or your discovery card um otherwise if you have um, paypal you can click on this more payment options here and then you can pay with your paper so you can pay with paypal or pay with your credit card all you just need to do you fill in this information correctly and then scroll down here and click on i have first um i've read and agreed to the blue terms of service and then you click on submit and this hosting will be successfully created with the free domain name so once you've successfully um, purchased the domain name the next thing is to log in and install wordpress and see how we can customize our site to look like what i showed you um, in the beginning so once you've successfully purchased a domain name whether for tmd hosting or blue host all you just need to do is to go to the name the website or follow the link that was sent to your email um, when you you signed up um, or you just go to the website and then click on login here for tmd hosting you can see the login here if i click on this login it takes us to the login page so this is where you are going to input your email and the password and then um, inputting your email and password that is sent to your uh, um, that is sent to you when you created this account to your email address so just click and click on login so once you click on login you'll be brought to a dashboard like this so here now to access our cpanel and actually install wordpress what we are going to do now is this is the domain name you registered with you are going to see it here where it says control panel access so just click on the domain name to take us to the control panel All right, so once we click on that domain name, it takes us to the control panel. This is how our control panel look, looks like, and a lot you can achieve um, using your control panel or your C panel as it is called. So all we need to do now is to scroll down here. Our concern is to install WordPress on our news blogging site. So we just scroll down 
until you get to where you see this WordPress uh, icon here. This one says that says WordPress. So all I'm do, going to do is to click on WordPress here to actually install WordPress on our site. So it will bring us to this dialog box here where we can actually um, go ahead and click on install now. So you click on install now. Now it gives you the option of installing uh, the, the different versions of WordPress you can install. So just go ahead and click on the latest version and then it's going to be HTTPS and here is where in your own case is going to be just one domain name but in my own case i'm going to select the domain name where i want to install wordpress on so i have as i told you earlier you have the option of hosting different website with just hosting account with depending on the package you are going with so in my own case i have different website hosted here so i'm going to go with the um, just choose one domain name in your own case it just be your domain name here that is if you are hosting for the first time and here where it says in, in, in directory don't don't put anything here remove this wp what this simply means is that if you install it uh, if you add anything here that means wordpress will be installed on a subfolder that means in order for someone to access your site even if they go to the name of your website.com they will not see anything until they put slash um, whatever name is you put here let's say wp for instance so if they put you put wp here that means the person will need to put wp to see the content of your site but in our own case we are installing wordpress on our site so we don't need to put leave the directory empty and then you scroll down here this is where you are going to put the description of your site and the title of your site and then a description here so the description could be just a sentence about what your site is you are going to put this here but you can always edit this later so just go ahead and input this here and then the admin account um you're giving the option of um having the username as an admin or and then create generating a pass password here so all i'm i need to do now is to uh, change this i will advise for security purposes don't use admin as your username um, always change this to something else so here i'm going to change this to my name and then i will use this key now to generate a password if you are not comfortable with it you can always click the key until you generate some something that best suits you so So input the username here that you want to log in with and input in your password, generate a password with this and then copy this and keep it in a safe place. Just copy all of this information and put it in a safe place. Now the email you want to be associated with this, um, your blog or your new site will be what you are going to put here. So go ahead, whatever email you want to be associated with your site, go ahead and put it there for mine. I've put support at digitallearner.com and then go ahead, leave every other thing the way it is. You are not installing any team. If you want to install any of these teams, you can go ahead and check one, but we are not installing team because I'm going to show you the team you will install. And then at the end of the day, what do you want this installation folder to be forwarded to? If you have a separate email where you want it to be forwarded to, go ahead and add up that email here. So once you add up the email, the next thing you need to do, all of this information, leave them the way they are and then click on install. And then just within minutes, uh, WordPress will be installed on our site. This doesn't take a, a lot a lot of time. It doesn't take time. Um, this thing will be installed within a moment on our site. And then we'll have our WordPress installed so we can now start customizing it. All right, as you can see, congratulations. Um, the software has been installed successfully on our site. And you can see the details here. Um, this has equally been forwarded to your email address that you provided when you were installing WordPress. So uh, this has been installed. Now, if I open this on a new tab to see our site, we'll see that it comes with a 2020 um, uh, default plug uh, team that is installed. So this is how our site website looks like for now. Um, the next thing we are going to do is to actually install a team and start tweaking this to look the way we want it to look to actually look like what I showed you initially. So if in order to log into your site, you go to the name of your website.com forward slash login to actually log in um, to log in with the password and the username you provided when you're installing WordPress. Or you can go alternatively, you can click on this link here where it says um, the name of your website forward slash wp dash admin you can either way you can log in to the da dashboard of to the back end of your website so i just click on this link once i open this link it automatically logs me into my dashboard so as you can see we are automatically logging to our dashboard so go ahead and dismiss this and this is how our dashboard looks like this is how your wordpress dashboards look like once you install wordpress and login this is how it looks like 
and here is where we are actually going to install all the teams and plugins we need and then start tweaking this site to look like what we need so in order to get started the next step here is to go to appearance over over appearance and click on teams now when i click on team the particular team that is active right now is um, the 2020 team that is the team that is active but for our news blogging site we don't need this team so all we need to do now is to actually go and install the team that we need so in order to do that you click on this plus icon here or click on the add new icon on top here to add a new team and then here on the team page because we want to add a new team you are going to type in here uh, on the search bar here color mark So that's the name of the team we want to install color mark and once you type that in the uh, search bar here you see the team that will appear here so this is the team we are going to install so hover over it and click on install so once the team is installed we go ahead and click on activate all right this team now recommends that we install the flowing plugin so the next thing now is to click on um, begin installing plugins we'll go ahead and install the plugins uh, i'll just select all the plugins here and then click on here and say install and apply all right so the plugin has been successfully installed um, so when i go back to return to the required plugin installer let's see if it has been activated okay we need to actually activate this so we'll just go ahead and click here and then go back to this option again and activate plugins and apply all right so our team has been successfully installed uh, the plugins have been successfully installed and activated now if i go back to the site and refresh all right this is how our site looks like for this is what our site looks like for now um there are no more uh, uh, work here so the next thing now is to actually customize this to look best the way we want it to look uh, we have to customize the colors and the rest and then start having news published here now the next thing we need to do now is to install a plugin we need to install a plugin that can actually start generating those news automatically to our site and in order to do that the plugin is the only thing you're paying for here you're not paying for the team the team is free so in order to do that we need to go to team forest there is a link below the video description where you can go and get the plugin and um, install on your site so when you click on the link in the video description it will actually bring you to this page this is where you are going to get the wordpress this is the wordpress plugin that will actually enable us to do this um, auto um, blogging of news on our site so you are going to get this for 30 bucks so when once you bring it to this page all you just need to do is to go ahead and add to card and then you have the option of your frequently paying with your credit card or paper so you go ahead and buy this thing just add it to card i've already purchased this so all i need to do now is to log in and show you how to download this when, once you finish um buying this so the link below the video description will take you here this is where you are going to purchase this team and at the end of the day once you finish buying the team um you need to log into your account once you log into your account you now hover over your name and click on download and that will bring you to this page here this is the page where you are going to download the team that you just um but so we are going to download this team and then we'll, we are going to install it so here if i click on the download there you have the option of downloading all the files document you have the option of downloading only the installer the installer file only and then the license of your purchase in pdf or in text so i'm going to bring download i'm not downloading everything i just need this installer this is what i'm going to install in wordpress so i just need to download this i click on this and that will go ahead to download the zip file for us here so this is what we need to install on our site now because i downloaded only the installer all i just need to do now is to install upload this zip file the way it's downloaded into my wordpress site so the next thing now is to go back to the back end here and then scroll down and click on plugins and add new
so once we are on the add new uh, plugin page we are going to upload because this is uh, this word plugin is not in the wordpress repository so we are going to actually upload just click on upload plugin here and then choose the file where you downloaded it to so in my own case i downloaded it to my system to my download folder so i'm going to choose that from my download folder so i'll go ahead and say choose file so once i go to my download folder this is where i downloaded that file too so i just click on it and then click on open and install that all right so the plugin has been successfully installed and the next thing we need to do now is to click on activate plugin all right so if i scroll down here you can see um, that the wordpress automatic plugin has been installed and then we now have a new tab here that is called automatic plugin so this is where we are this is what we are going to use to actually tweak so the next thing now is to do, tweak the settings here and how to get the the auto news blogging site to our site so this is what we are going to use to tweak our site and then start uploading news and start making our site look the way we want it to be so with this new tab here all i need to do now is to click on it to open up the plugin settings once the plugin is installed and activated, the next thing we do now is to activate the license. So you go back to your dashboard where you downloaded the plugin from and then click here and download the license certificate. This is where you are going to get your purchase code. So once you download that, then um, it will be downloaded here. So just open that up and this is your purchase code. So you are going to copy this code. Once you copy this code, come back to the back end of your site and then on the WP automatic, go to settings and click on settings. So when you click on settings, this is where you are going to actually tweak um, all of your affiliate link, like for Amazon settings, in order to, if you are importing product from Amazon to your site, you are going to tweak it so that uh, with your affiliate details here. Um, for ClickBank, you are going to set that up. For ClickBank, you are going to set it for EZN articles. If you want to activate, uh, start importing product from EZN articles, all of these settings are things you are going to do in order to, but be able to automatically add your Instagram and your, your affiliate links to, to, to it. So this is, you configure all of those things in the setting. But what I'm concerned with is you just scroll down here to where you say license. Where you see this key icon here where you say license, you are going to see a column here where you say paste your license. I've already pasted the license. So once you paste the license, you go ahead and check um, and click on this save changes and it will not tell you that your license is active so this will not give us the permission to be able to use this to actually start creating campaign and start importing product into a blog so that it will automatically be created so in order to do that now all we need to do is to go to new campaign and click on new campaign. if i click on all campaign now you see that we've not created any campaign yet so we have not created any campaign yet so to create a campaign we need to click on new campaign here and then we go ahead and name this campaign. Let's just say we're going to name this campaign news. So on the settings here now, from here, where you say update frequency, try to add the, the new post every 60 seconds. If you want it to be every 60 seconds, you go ahead and add it here. Um, if you want it to be every minute, if you want it to be every one, one hour, you are going to actually configure that here. So if I leave it at 60, now that means every 60 minutes here, as you are saying, the update unit, every 60 minute, a post will go on um, to our blog. Every 60 minute, the post will go on. If every 60 minute, the post will go on. You can go ahead and say, okay, you want it to be every 60 hours or every 60 days, or it all depends on what you want. So if I want to make it per hour, um, I'll just go ahead and say, okay, let it be every, um, three hours so every three hour I want this blog a blog post to be published on our site it all depends on what you want to actually achieve here so now for the campaign options you have the different options of choosing where you want the campaign to come from so it could be from Clickbank it could be from YouTube it could be from Vimeo wherever you want to publish post on your site you want this blog post to be coming from you can go ahead and actually activate that and it will automatically be publishing um new post on your site every now and then if you want it to be from the easy article or whatever but what i'm concerned now since it's a new a blogging news an auto news we want we are going to use feed 
so you have this different option it could be from facebook it could be from twitter it could be from soundcloud anywhere you want to import your product from you you are going to select that here and then um you just go ahead and follow the procedures but we are going to actually import product not from easy articles but from feed so we are going to import our product from feed and the maximum um, number of posts you are going to set that here how many numbers of posts do you want to be going at so this number of posts will be going at let's say one post every three hour one post every three hour once it gets up to two thousand posts this campaign will automatically um stop so every three hours one post will go out. once it gets to up to two thousand posts this campaign will automatically stop so um and then you can come and renew it and review it again to start posting again but for now you can make it 2000 you can increase it to whatever you want it to be um and go ahead but let me just leave it at that 2000 2000 post so now the feed we are going to get we are going to paste one feed per line and now in my own case i'm actually going to get my own feed from a popular news blogging site in nigeria so um i'll just open a new tab here so i'll open up a new tab and then here on the google search i'm going to type uh, sahara reporters RSS feed so I'm going to type it this so I report that this is the RSS feed here so I'm just going to open up and see what the RSS feed are and how to use it okay so they have all of these different uh, RSS feed for they have for all content they have for the latest news they have for report they have for opinions politics and the rest so I'm going to copy all of these things here all of these I'm going to copy it one after the other. Let me start with the latest news. I'm going to copy this. And then come back to the back end of my site and paste it here. Go to the next line and then copy again for um, reports. Let me copy that of politics. Paste. So just bring back this here. And then I'll add another one here, business. Um, let me call it copy for business. Go ahead, copy this. And then come back to the back end of your site and enter. Then right click and paste. So just return this back here. You can do this for as many sites. All you just need to do is type the name of the site then add RSS feed. And that will bring you to their RSS feed page. So you just go ahead and copy whatever you want to be published on your site automatically. Come here, once you get the RSS feed, um, just come here, paste them here and arrange them. You can arrange as many as you want. And once you are done with this, now you can say it asks you to retrieve the feed, if not automatically to be um, published. Like for the first hour, three hours, it will publish from um, this feed here, for, for which is the news for the next uh, three hours to publish for politics but if you want to rotate this we can just go ahead and rotate it and say okay post this thing randomly so you just click on this rotate to actually do that and the next one is single item title extraction method so if you want to actually just leave it on auto detect you don't need to do anything here just leave this on auto detect and then the content extraction leave this as it is then here is where we are going to specify what we actually need specific extraction all of these uh, options here don't leave them then don't stripe don't strip script tags or just leave these things the way they are automatically um this is the default setting so i wouldn't advise you temper with this but you can go ahead and go through one of these each, each of this one after the other see what you can actually do with it now the post title um original title let it be the original title from the site and then post text um let just leave these things the way they are you don't need to temper with any of this this is how it's going to come so you don't need to temper with that then post type uh, or format or status so you can go ahead and select if you want it to be pages if you want it, you want, need it to be post um so we don't need to uh, do anything if you want to customize the post format you can go ahead and click here and then customize it but we don't actually need that now the auto the post auto will not be the name of your your, your name that is associated there you can go ahead and edit this if you want uh, um, by going to your profile here to actually edit that if you want to change a name but you you are going to the post every post that is imported there will be assigned to this auto and then the 
new post how do you want it if you want it to be published immediately if you want to save it in drive then go edit it before you publish if you want it to be private or pending you can just go ahead but my in my own case i want to publish them immediately so i don't need to put it in a draft or something and then add post to draft then publish um after setting future image and the comment so you can go ahead and do this you can go ahead and do the but i'm leaving this as default so the set first image um <coughs> that comes with this post as the future image so any image that is attached to that post will be set as future image and then um just leave every other thing the way it is leave every other thing the way it is now on the categories here um post you have the option of creating categories for instance if i want to create a category i want to uh, add all of the posts from this feed you can create as many campaigns as you want but this for this particular campaign if i want to add all the posts from this feed to my a specific category if i've created the category all of them will be listed here so i just select the category i want to list uh paste that post into so i just click on it and and then send the post into into it so um all you need to do now if you have different kinds of categories here uh, you need to hold down control key and select as many categories where you want to post that into so keywords for categories if you want to add keyword but for this you just leave it as default leave every other settings here as default now if you want to rewrite or translate all of these text that are imported to your site you can go ahead and say okay translate the post before posting here it will be translated um uh, whatever if you want to use google translation or any of these translators you want to use you go ahead and use them and the content will be translated before it is added to your site so if you want to do that but i don't want to translate it i want it to be the, as the the original content from the original site where it's importing from so i'm not translating anything and basically that is how you do this and once you are done with all of your settings here the next thing you need to do now is to actually go ahead and publish this Now, because we are going to create customize the page right now, nothing has been done. So if I just go ahead and click on run, um, it will first publish the first post on our site. So if I go ahead and click on this run campaign, but automatically after three hours, this will automatically generate. But to see how this works, let me just go ahead and run a campaign. All right, the campaign has been successfully run that you can see, see there is a post on our site already. So if I click and open this on a new tab, you see that this has automatically been imported to our site with the images here. It has automatically been imported to our site. If I go to the home page, you see this is it. So when I can now click on it and read more, and that is how you actually create this. So this will go ahead. If I want more of this post, I'll go ahead and run again and it will create another post if i want another one i'll go ahead and run again i need to create another post but already we have said okay make this automatic so by every three hours a post will be published but i just wanted to show you how this works if i go ahead and refresh my page here you see that we have three different posts here um so we have this we have this we have this so i'm going to create categories so that we'll be able to customize this page to look exactly like what i showed you from the beginning so before we do the customization let me just go ahead and create um, different categories by going to my post tab here so if i come back to my post here to go to all posts you see all of the posts that we just generated this is by default so we are going to trash this we don't need this right now and then uh, we we'll go to the trash and empty trash all right so with that created the next thing we want to do now go to the post tab and create category so here we can go ahead and create different categories i can say the first one i need it to be politics let me make this initial capital all right so i'll just go ahead and add category and that will automatically add and generate the slug for us you have the option of equally adding a description there if you want and then the next one will be let's say breaking news and then go ahead and add that the next category let's say we want it to be business And go ahead and add that 
So with this added, if I come back to the WP Automatic plugin again and click on campaigns, and then go ahead and edit this campaign here. If I go ahead and say edit campaign, and scroll down here to where it says category, um, where we have the category tab. On this category type here, all of the posts that are coming here, where do I want it to go to? If it is um, on the breaking news, I'll just say, okay, this is for breaking news. Um, I'll go ahead and save it. But if I wanted to publish on all of these um, pages, all I need to do now is to hold down control and then select as many categories that I want. So if I wanted to publish on each of these categories, I'll go ahead and select it and then come up here and update this. But what you can actually do, if you got this from a news site, you can get from another, another RSS feed from another site and then come back here to your site and create a new campaign and say, okay, I need this campaign to go into this category. I need other campaign to go into this category. I need this other campaign to go into this category. So hope you get the gist. I just want, for demonstration purpose, we are going to publish on all of these categories and then click on update. The next thing I will do now is to come to my site here and then go to... So before I get started, if I click on this new, this post now, the post here, if I click on this post here, uh, you can see that on the post there we have the name of our site and then first slash this date before the the, the, the um, name of the post actually comes up. So all I need to do now to actually did that to, to go to my back end of my site and then go to settings and click on permalinks. So once I'm on permalinks, instead of saying day and name, I'm going to use post name. So I'll click on post name and go ahead and save changes. So if I come back here and refresh this page, so if I now refresh this page, you will see that it is, and click on any of these posts, you see that that has been taken care of. It is no more adding the date, it's just the name of this. This is for SEO purposes, so it is proper that we don't have those dates listed there but every new site has date uh, on them so that you will know that this is actually date that is published but i don't need that right now that's why i have to do the setting and then the next thing we want to do now is to come to our home page here and then go to customize to actually customize this page to what we want So the first thing I want to do is to edit this title here. You just click on it and it will bring you to this. If you don't want to use a title like this, you can go ahead and select a logo. So you just create a logo and then come here to upload the logo. But if you want to edit the site title here, you just go ahead and say. So you have the option of using your logo or just using your site title. So let's assume my site is news blog and then I'll say latest breaking news around the world. So um, that is basically what is going to display here. And the next thing we want to do here is to come in. That is how you edit your logo and your site. So now the next thing I want to do, if I don't like this color, if I want to change this color from blue to any other color, all I need to do now is to scroll down here to where it says design option. Um, on the design options, you have the uh, option of changing the font and then um, the side layer, the default layer, but I want to change the primary color. If I don't want it to be this blue, all I need to do is to select whatever color you want. As you can see, the color automatically changes. Any color you want to change this to, you can go ahead and change that color to, to it and that will automatically be applied and then just click on publish and that will be the color your site will come up with. So with the buttons, you see that it is this color is actually coming up with so here you have the white skin if you want the dark skin you can go ahead and select that and it will apply the dark skin to your site like this but i prefer the white skin so go ahead um many you want to tweak your site this is where you do all of those things if you want the layout mine i want it to be the full the white layout if you want it to be a box layout you can go ahead and select that um just go ahead and play around with this on the social icon this is where you add uh, your social links you go ahead and add your social links here you can go ahead and add your facebook links let's just add a hashtag here 
add your social links here add your twitter link as well go ahead and then where do you want this link to show up so if i want it to be on the header i'll go ahead and put it on the header if i want it to be on the footer or the board header and footer i'll go ahead and put that then if you want if people click on it and you want it to open up in a new link this is where you will check that so that you open up in a new tab you go ahead add of all of your social uh, icons here uh, social media add all of your social media you are here just go ahead and insert them so i'll just go ahead and add this hashtag to actually add those links um, i'll show you where it will show up very soon and then the next option here is on the footer we are going to edit this from um, the back end of our site and then additional options if you want to add a related post uh, image to open in light bars featured image all of this you are going to actually set up this here and this is where you set up check to enable light bars for featured image so if somebody clicks on the featured image it opens up in a light bars you can go ahead and do that and then check to hide the featured image in a single post and i don't want that so just leave it the way it is and then once we are done tweaking our site from this end the next thing we need to do now is to click on the save uh, the changes so once you are done just click on publish and once you've done the you publish that we need to cancel this to go back to the home page now to actually tweak this i need to go back to the back end here and come back to the appearance tab here and click on widgets so on the so once we are on the widget section the next thing we want to do now now to have a slider we have this different widget that makes up the site so now we have the front page slider area so what we are going to do is actually go scroll down here and then you look for where it says featured category this is for the slider so we are going to click this icon and the arrow icon there and add this to the front page slider and add to widget so here you are going to customize how many posts you want to display on the slider then show latest post you can so show uh, posts from specific categories let us just go with the show latest post so once we add this slider here um, you can go ahead and make this how many posts you want to be sliding the next thing we want to do is the front page area slider so what we are going to add here is um, we are going to add the highlight post and um, the highlighted post so we are going to add this to the front page area slider beside slider go ahead and add up this and then screw up here how many posts do you want to display for we want it to equally be if you want it from a specific category you go ahead and select the category here. but if you want it to be the latest post go ahead and select it i will leave it as latest post and click on save and then for the front page content type let's go ahead and actually open up this website in a new tab and see the changes we've made already okay so here we have the slider uh -huh. you can see the slider is it's actually sliding here um it's actually sliding here so this is not showing up So once I refresh the page, you can see that the slider is here working and then the sidebar is actually working. We said it should display four, four, four posts, but remember that the post we generated was just three posts. So when we generate another post and when another post is published, it automatically be displayed here. Okay, or maybe I should just go ahead and generate another one because we cannot wait for one, um, four hours, uh, three hours or thereabout. So all I need to do is to go back to this campaign option here and click on the WP campaign and then click on this campaign here just go ahead and click on edit and then let me generate another post here by just clicking this run button here all right so we now have up to four posts on our site if i go back to the front end here and then just go ahead and refresh this page you can see that we now have the um sidebar beside the slider here so we now have four posts you can see this has been taking this has taken shape and then this equally is sliding so the next section we are going to edit from the widget if i go back to the back end here go back to appearance and click on widgets we've done um this 
we've done the slider area we've done the beside slider and then the next one is the front page content top section so to edit the front page uh, content top section all i need to do now is to scroll down here and go ahead and add this feature post that is what i'm going to add the feature post and i want to add it up to the front page top content section click on it and add to widget um, so this is how it's going to display we are going to have one big one and then three four the extras by the side so if you want to add the title we can go ahead and say breaking news here and then if you want to add a description you can go ahead but i don't want to add a description go ahead and show we want it to show four posts and then go ahead and click on save changes so once i come to the front page and click on refresh you can see we've gotten the slider we've gotten the sidebar and then this is the one we just added and here is the title we give it the breaking news that's what you're seeing here and we have option of adding another one there's another section here if i come back to the widgets here and then scroll down here um this front page content uh, middle left so the content middle left here is this is where you are going to actually add your google um, um, code and all you just need to do is to log into your adsense account if you have applied for adsense and it, it has been approved you are going to copy the code to actually add up here so in order to do that i'll copy a code from my own adsense account and add up here and then refresh the page but i've not added this site to my adsense account so the page the google code may not display so here if you are going to add up your adsense um, code here what you need to do is to use custom html and then drag and drop it here that's another way to add up that so you are going to drag and drop there then paste the code you copied from google your google adsense account the code that google approved for you go ahead and click on save changes So once you click on save changes come to the home page and refresh the page and when i scroll down here you'll see that our google code will be displaying here this is not active it will, it will take time to actually display here so you go ahead and place that here and this will be displaying here then if you want to show up another google adsense uh, ad here you just go back again to here um let's just collapse this and collapse this for the front end content middle right we go ahead and click on it and we'll now add this content custom html we click on it and add it to um, the content left and add to widget here you go ahead and paste the code again from google once you paste the code go ahead and click save go to the front end of your page and refresh the page so once you refresh the page um, that will equally take up this is the first one is here the second one is here so if you want to display here again um you can go ahead if i go back to the widgets here you have all these widgets to actually display here but let me go ahead and drag this here let me drag it to the next one here and then go on to the front end of the site so you can see um for the widgets we added here one for the content middle left and then one for the content middle right uh, what we added our google ads here so code here so if i come back here our google ad is going to display here google ad is going to display here and if we go on i'm going to show you how to add up for the sidebar for the sidebar we have recent posts and then we have recent comment if you want to equally add up that here you go back to the widget and for this is a sidebar so we have the search button which is what you are seeing here and then we have the recent post recent comment which is what you are equally I'm seeing here so if i want to add another uh, code for google ad to be displaying on the side here all i need to do now is to come here to the custom come here and click on this custom html and click and drag i can drop it on top or bring it down here or let me just say i want to i want it to show before the search box so i'll go ahead and paste the code here and then click on save Then if I come to the page and refresh the page, you see there is equally a column. So our Google Ads is going to be displayed here, and you can see that the news will be display will be publishing, and it will be coming to the appropriate category. If I want to add another section down here, or I'll just really leave it the way it is. I'll go ahead and add now for the footer. Let's customize the footer. If I go back here to our widget page, and then we have 
the front there is another widget column here um the, this, the next one here is the front page content uh, bottom section you can go ahead to add up this you can add let's say we want to add another featured post here um go ahead click on any of this let's add um featured category you can add featured post you can add featured post let's add feature post let me just click on this and add up this to bottom section go ahead and add and then here how do you want it this is going to actually display this is the style you're you're going to this is for style one and then for the style two this is another style if i want this to be added there i've used that style one before so if i want that to be added i'll go ahead and click this and then this is how the style two will look like the, the style one let me just go ahead and remove this and then let, me, let us use the style two here so we can go ahead and title to this as say um politics so if you want to add a description so go ahead and type politics if you want to add a description add how many posts do you want to show four or three go ahead once you've done that you click on save so if i come back to the home page Now, if I come back and refresh the home page, you can see that our site is beginning to take shape. So this is the one we just added here. So it has big one, one big one post on top, and then the others will be uh, under it. So this is what we just added. Now, what you can do is that you can actually make this specific category. I'm using one particular category because I have not imported posts for any category. So all you just need to do is to check on a specific category and select the category you want. If I say some specific category, we'll go ahead. You can select the category that that post will not display only post from that particular category so that is how you actually treat this and the last thing i want to show you on the widget is the footer the advertisement above the footer here you can go ahead here here you can add a banner of um, a, a particular business you want to run or whatever you want to do you can go ahead and add it up here but i'll just click on this custom html and click and drag here and then you can equally post your google page uh, ad code here or this is where you add um, if you are advertising during any sponsor post, you can add somebody's banner here. Just click on save changes. And if I come back to the website and refresh this page, if I come down here before the footer, we have banner before the footer. So our Google ad is equally going to be displayed here. And then the next thing you will want to do here is actually editing the footer. We have footer one. You can go ahead and display what you want to display if it is navigation menu i want to display for instance i'll just click and drag if it is pages i want to um or rest, less i want to display recent posts i'll just click for the footer one how many do you want to display let's just say we want to display three let's click save changes and then the next one is the footer two what do you want to display here you can go ahead and We can display categories well, okay let's go ahead and add categories on the footer to just click and drag here and then display as a drop down or show post content you can go ahead and trick this the way you want it and if i want to title this i'll just go ahead and see useful link So I'll title this as the useful links. Um, go ahead and click on save changes. And then the footer three, you go ahead and display another thing here you want to display. Let's say we want to display um, a calendar here. We'll go ahead and drag the calendar and click here and then close this on the footer four. What do you want to display here? You can display and So this advert now can actually, you here you can create a column for people to place advert on your site and this is the size of the image you are going to actually create. You can title it and then advertisement image link. When somebody click on the image, where do you want it to take them to? Then advertisement, advertisement image, you are going to select the image. If you have an image in your system, let's say this is what we are going to advertise. You can choose here as you use this image. Then here, if somebody clicks this image, where do you want it to direct them to you can go ahead and add um, the link here so let me just copy the link of my site here and paste paste it here 
then um advertisement image link to if you have more than one images you want to add you can go ahead and add as many images you want okay let me just go ahead and add another image here advertisement image link to let me select the image select a different image and then use image we can select another different image here this and then click on used image And once we are done editing this, all we need to do is to click on save changes. And once these changes have been saved, let's go back to our site. Come back to the site and refresh the site. If I scroll down here to the footer, we so now we are in the footer. The footer is taking shape now. So this is the recent post we added. These are the useful language, the categories we added. And then this is the calendar we added. This are the advert we added. So if someone is, uh, let's assume these are images for advert. And then someone clicks on it. It takes them directly to the person's website to actually, um, that means we're actually converting. So if you are going to add advert here, here's going to be your Google um, AdSense um, displayed ad or you can use a banner or whatever you want to so basically that is how you create an auto blogging site and as we said this by every three hour each three hour a post will be published on this blog all right so you can see that our site is beginning to take shape and the next thing is we need to edit our social icon to be showed up here so all i need to do is to go back to our customizer by clicking the customizer menu here and then we need to go down to scroll down here to where it says um, social option click on activate social area so we're going to click on check this to actually activate the social area um, all right so that will actually start showing up all of our social media icons here so all of our social media icons will be displayed there so if someone clicks here it takes them directly to our social media icon and the next thing we want to do is to add up the slider here that was sliding the breaking news. So let's come back here. And then on the header option. So this is where you are going to choose the style of the header you want. You can use this. You can use this. You can use this. Any of these. But this is the one that is active, which is perfect. So. Go ahead and activate this to actually activate the breaking news column. So as you can see, now that I've activated it, it's now showing up every all of the breaking news that will be coming up here. It will be showing up as a slider here. So that's how you do that by just going to the header and then click on breaking news. You can show date if you want to show date. Just click on show date at the header so it will show date. Um, let me just show you how that works. If I click on show date at the header. so you can see it's showing you today's date and then showing this as well so you can go ahead however you want to tweak this you have all of um the customization you need here to actually show that if i want to show the home uh, an image here uh, as the home button i go ahead and check this to, to show an icon on the home so if i click this it will now show this icon so if somebody wants to go to my home page they just click on this and it takes them to my home page that is how you are going to customize this if i want to put a sticky menu if i put add a menu here and i want when people screw up to for the menu to be sticky all i just need to do is to check here to enable sticky menu so if i screw up here you see that the menu will now be sticked at the top so instead of just scrolling and disappearing with the content it will just stick at the top so that is what this does and basically our blogging auto blogging news is taking shape and basically that is what we need so all you just need to do now is to add source for um all of the rss feed website you want to be publishing from i just showed you how to publish from a popular news site in nigeria you can publish from cnn get their uh, rss feed and then start publishing automatically start publishing news on your site and that is how you do it then the focus now will not be on content but on how to get 
um, traffic to your site uh, because it is only traffic that will generate you money whether you want companies to advertise with you or whether you want Google AdSense to start paying you. So the number of traffic you, you generate to your site determines the number, the amount of money you'll be earning either from Google AdSense or from any other advertiser that wants to advertise with your site. So basically, I hope this video was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below to actually air your views. And I beg you once again, if you are new to my channel, subscribe to my channel and share this with others. So that is it for today. If you have any problem, if there's anything you are stuck with, always use the comment section I will and I will attend to you as soon as I get them. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and we'll see you again in our next video.